Let's do it. This weird camera is so funny. Uh, it'll start off normal and then it'll also do that. And uh, it makes everything all skinny and wide and makes my face even broader than it already is in real life. <laughs> Lucky. Um, bet you wish your face could be all broader than it is in real life. <laughs> All right, what a uh, what an amazing day! Spent my first time ever going in before a Senate committee and arguing against a bill that they are proposing, a very wicked one. SB or is it AB? I forget one of those Bs. Uh, Nine forty-seven. The communists are coming for our children. Period. Read the Communist Manifesto. Read it. Look it up. Read it. We're already well into being taken over by communists here in the United States of America. That sounds like a conspiracy theory. Read the Communist Manifesto. Just look that up. Communist Manifesto. You'll see exactly what they're going to do, when they're going to do, how they're going to do it. And you'll see that they're father of lies, whose work they're doing just as quickly as possible, for his time is short is definitely running this once great, big, beautiful, awesome, blessed by the by the creator himself, United States of America, running it right off a cliff. That's the whole idea. That's the whole plan. You can't take over the world. You can't do your one world government as long as the United States of America is standing in your way. That's why they hate Trump so much, especially now that he has come right out and said, you elect me as your president. You re-elect me, basically. I will take down the swamp. This time, no holds barred. That's a challenge. They're freaking out. All that aside, that was my first time in the Senate chambers ever actually going in there and arguing against a bill that they are proposing and trying to get past Senator Scott Weiner. Yeah. Buffy Wicks was there too, by the way. The Wicked Wicks of the West from Oakland. And uh, there was only one man in there that argued against it, and his last name was Wilk. Scott Wilk. And uh, I immediately found his office after I heard him arguing against this bill. And I went and talked to his people and said, I want him on my show called Do Not Talk. He said, okay, here's the information. Send us a request. We'll get him on. So that was exciting. But uh, when it came my time to go up there and actually argue against the bill, I prayed against evil. That's what I did. I didn't say like everyone else was saying, I strongly oppose, I vehemently oppose, whatever, however they put it. They were all just, it literally gave you like 10 seconds to say what you want to say against this bill. This is the one that steals your kids away from you. If you don't gender affirm, you get your child taken away from you. That's what's happening. So I went up there and I prayed against evil and they escorted me out. In the name of Christ Jesus, call out this evil. Call it down, Father. Please stop it and stop the evil people, the wicked people um, who are trying to perpetrate these crimes against children. In your name, Lord Yeshua, Christ Jesus, amen and amen. That's what I prayed. Thank you. Thank you, gaveling me out. And some security dude comes up, grabs my arm, and escorts me out. Now, I'm not a small man. I could have fought back and went, don't, don't touch. Because they're not supposed to. But yet he did. They hate our Lord. They hate those of us who follow our Lord. Do you understand that now? Are you starting to get it? They hate us. But Jesus said they would, didn't he? And that we should count it uh, joy that we are worthy of persecution. Awesome. Let's do that. Thank you, Father. Thank you so much for the opportunity to be there today and see how it works. Oh, Father. This must absolutely mourn you. 
please give us the heart that you have for these children who are being indoctrinated and sexualized and led astray. Lord Jesus, you said anyone causes any of these young ones to stumble, it'd be better for them to have a heavy millstone tied around their neck and to be cast into the sea. Father, I pray against that evil here now and every time I will again and again. In your name, Lord Christ Jesus, stop this wickedness. Stop these people. Bring them down. Destroy them. Ruin them. Whatever it takes. Save them would be best. But if that's not your will, Father, do not let this continue. This is absolutely rampant, pure Satanism out of control. Please, Father, we beg you to please stop this. We humble ourselves before you. We ask you to please forgive us for our sins. Please forgive us for our sins. And please heal our land. And give us your Holy Spirit now so we can understand what you want us to know about you and the scripture we are about to read. In your name, Lord Yeshua, Christ Jesus, amen and amen. It was a very powerful thing today. <clears throat> and I'm glad I got to see it and it's not going to be my last. We have to really start showing up for these hearings. And I'll let you know I'll let you know whenever I know of anything like this coming up. Be great to have you join me there. See what it's like. Experience it. Don't think somebody else is going to take care of this. Nobody's coming to rescue us. Not here in California. We're it. We're the cavalry. Hebrews chapter 4. Therefore, let us fear if, while a promise remains of entering his rest, any one of you may seem to have come short of it. For indeed, we have good news preached to us, just as they also. But the word they heard did not profit them, because it was not united by faith in those who heard. For we who have believed enter that rest, just as he has said, quote, I was sworn in my, I, as I swore in my wrath, they shall not enter my rest. Unquote. Although his works were finished from the foundation of the world. For he has said somewhere concerning the seventh day, quote, And God rested on the seventh day from all his works. Unquote. And again in this passage, quote, They shall not enter my rest. Unquote. Therefore, since it remains for some to enter it, and those who formerly had good news preached to them failed to enter because of disobedience, he again fixes a certain day, today, saying through David, after so long a time, just as has been said before, quote, today if you hear his voice, do not harden your hearts, unquote. For if Joshua had given them rest, he would not have spoken of another day after that. So there remains a Sabbath rest for the people of God. For the one who has entered his rest has himself also rested from his works as God did from his. Therefore, let us be diligent to enter that rest so that no one will fall through following the same example of disobedience. For the word of God is living and active and sharper than any two-edged sword and piercing as far as the division of soul and spirit of both joints and marrow, and able to judge the thoughts and intentions of the heart. And there is no creature hidden from his sight, but all things are open and laid bare to the eyes of him with whom we have to do. With whom we have to do. Hmm. Therefore, since we have a great high priest who has passed through the heavens, Jesus the Son of God, let us hold fast our confession. For we do not have a high priest who cannot sympathize with our weaknesses, but one who has been tempted in all things as we are, yet without sin. Therefore, let us draw near with confidence to the throne of grace, so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help 
in time of need. Hebrews chapter 4, I suggest you go back and read it for yourself. That will help you remember it and retain it. It really will. If you actually physically read it for yourself. If you need a Bible, let me know. Send me a personal message. I'll make sure you get one. Done it before, I'll do it again. I'll make sure you get one. Or upload one to your smart device. And that is called Literal Word. L-I-T-E-R-A-L. Literal Word. It's a great app, and it's the New American Standard translation, which is the closest you can get to the original scrolls and tablets. If you're like me, you just want to know what the word says, you don't need some goofball interpreting it for you or making it a little softer. Christianity's already gotten way too soft. My Lord fashioned a whip of cords and drove money changers off the temple property, overturned tables, scattered money everywhere, drove them out. That's my Lord. Yes, he is all love, but I'll tell you what, you only get to go so far, and God will not be mocked. Do what you want with that information. Talk to you later.